Yes, you did. You look like a you're bloody mess laying in there. My set? Yeah, you're set. Why are you such a bloody mess? I know, yeah, sure. Because there's blood all over you. Alright, Dominic, can everybody hear me? Yes, yes Staff Sergeant. Alright, one full. So, today's gonna be, we're gonna be going over School of Infantry. This might differ from a little bit of what the actual Marine Corps does in School of Infantry, so this is the way that we do it. So today we're gonna be going over a medical course. This is gonna be a more in-depth one. Some of the things that we're gonna go over there is tactical field care and care under fire. Those will be discussed later once we get into the medical course. We're gonna discuss the role of each individual as the infantry role as primary responsibility. Um, like what they're supposed to do in the instance that somebody gets wounded as well as the corpsman's responsibility. All right, well, it's gonna be going over basic radio course. It's gonna be going over radio etiquette, how to properly speak over the radio, as well as what radios you're gonna use, how to change your freaks and all that. Also gonna be going over advanced weapons courses. So we're gonna be going over the AP-4, the anti-tank rocket launcher, as well as the M249 saw. Also gonna be going over fire team tactics, such as bounding, leapfrogging, two-man bounding, and fire team bounding. And we're also going over small unit tactics, such as patrol formations, how to react to contact slash ambush, as well as breaking contact, specters of fire, as well as communicating during that. All right, does anybody have any questions over some of the shit that we're going to be going over? No stop, sir. Nope. The medical? Uh, we just don't fucking... Do we even have... A, we don't even have a fucking corpsman on right now. No, the we one don't. guy that was a corpsman, though. So, if I you would be okay it. with actually still leading that. I hate doubt it. Stand up and sit back down. Hold up, Wolf. No. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so this group right here that I'm standing in front of, there's six of you. You will be group one. Group one session. This group over here, there's seven of you. You will be group two. Group one. That understood. Yes, that's all right. You're gonna, you're gonna go with group one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make it even. Mm -hmm. So at this point in time, group <laughs> one, make sure you stay together. Who's the fucking highest ranking guy over here? PFC. Lance Corporal Gaudet. Alright, Lance Corporal Gaudet. You're temporarily in charge of this group to make sure that they stay together and you do not lose anybody. Who's in charge of this one over here? Fuck that kid. We got a Lance Corporal back here. Good. Oh, Charlie, you're in charge of this. Make sure you don't fucking lose anybody from the group. Shit, man. Group one. Yo, you being racist? Oh, dude. Group one, you will be okay. going to the AT4 range. Sorry, right. one, one eight. Eight. Shut up, listen to the boy. Fucking pay attention. Jesus yes, that's Christ. Sergeant. You guys will be going to the AT4 range first. Yes, that's Sergeant. Yes, that's Sergeant. Group two, you guys will be going to the 249 range first. Move, that's good. Yes, that's Sergeant. Got it. Got a lead. LT will be. I'm taking lead. No, 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 no. Hey. Got it. Lance Corporal Lance 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 <laughs> I got you recorded up. <laughs> Hold on, don't go away from the camera. Come here. I can't hear you. Oh, you are beautiful. It's been just like this every day. Charlie, that's alright, brother. I'm going with minorities here. It's cool. I don't mind. No, it's fine, dude. I'm Mexican. Hell yeah. What's up there, fucking. Yeah, a lot That's of the Mexicans just beat beat over these doors. Okay. Why am I? Like, I don't even have to do this shit. Like, why the fuck am I doing this? Whatever. I should have said I was the highest. I don't know why I'm fucking with Gwadat. <laughs> <laughs> then he, but he's a temporarily lead of. Well, how'd you let that whole? How'd you let that whole fucking take your charge, man? For real? You know what? Pretty. It sounds like a little scary. Let's go. Let's take the small one. Okay. Look, look, look. <coughs> 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 Fucking this gangster rider. I wanna drive it. Fuck that. I 
Let's do this. Let's do this. Shit, right, we're, we're ready to roll out. Go to high tide five. It's E range. You gotta follow the actual road. Don't let John Wick cross the runway. Yeah. So high tide four or five. High tide four. Okay. You gotta guide me. Uh, left. Maybe we can hold on. Thought we were going to four to get out the gates. Ooh, I'm over here drifting with this bad boy. <laughs> All I hear was good. No matter what you say. They just cut a right, go right. Fuck it. Already go across the way. They're gonna be making a right after three miles to our left. They go up to our left. Like a right. And there's the gate. Yeah, then I'm gonna take a right when I get up to the road. No, I'm gonna take a right right here. I'm not gonna go. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> what? This vehicle is so hard to control. Hola. You guys fucking, what the fuck are you guys doing over here? We're here. I don't know what guy that is doing. You guys walked over here. No. Oh, we drove out Mini Mini Cooper. Mini Hooper, right there. Here they come. Yo, one of us in their vehicle, so we just took a new one. They're literally sitting there waiting. They're just sitting there waiting. Alrighty, guys, yeah. go, uh, go sit down in those chairs up there. Okay. Got some instructions. Where? Ah, uh, we went here. Alrighty, gentlemen, if you're just arriving, go ahead and sit in the seats. We're gonna go over some instructions here real quick. I'm recording. Shh. Just sit down closer. Ladies and gentlemen, last couple got that. Do you have your entire group here? I believe so. Alright, you do. There's seven of you. Alright, gentlemen, this is the fucking AT4 range. Alright, we're just gonna be going over basic shit on when you're using the AT4. Wow. Um, misfire. <laughs> MD. My, uh, my rifle went fish. off, Staff Sergeant. I don't know why it's a little bad. <laughs> Alright. So, like I said, we're going to be going over proper use of the AT4, um, the range, where it's effective, where to shoot a heavily armored target, um, and shit like that. Alright. You guys are all looking up here. Two, this long term of back that I have out is the M136 AT4. Alright. For armor purposes, whenever you're carrying one of these, you'll only have one rocket on you because in real life they're disposable, but armor says fuck you realism and then they get to where you can reload it. Alright. So, with this, you will carry one M136 rocket. Shut the fuck up. Alright. So, when you're firing this, you want to make sure that there is not a wall five meters behind you like there is for me. You want to make sure that it's open because there is backblast in here. You also want to make sure that there is not a person behind you. You also want to make sure that you have a person next to you that is covering you because when you have this out, you cannot engage the enemy. Alright. You want to make sure that you at least use the AT-4 for heavily armored and medium armored targets. Three, you don't want to use them on the light armored engine. vehicles where you can just take out a wheel and disable it. Alright. Whenever you're shooting at a target, you want to make sure you're at least Dude, aiming for it in the back. Up. You don't want to be aiming directly at the front. That's where it has its thickest armor. The side is also acceptable. Alright. Pretty simple, guys. 
Sides in the back. Alright. It's pretty simple, guys. Anybody have any questions over it? <coughs> no staff sergeant. Alright. It's effective up to 150 meters in game. That's when it will start dropping. Alright. What, what does it look like when you look through the sights? Or are there sights on the weapon system? Yeah, there, there, there are sights. They look just like in real life. There's a little reticle and then there's a little like three prong front sight. Cool. So, anybody have any questions? No, staff uh, sergeant. Alright. So that, that's like a realistic uh, warhead, right? It's not gonna do the RPG Please thing. We're just the formation. Break. Yeah. It's just like you, you fire it, then it just drops and then propels and it spins out. If you don't. Not on this game. Okay, so there's, there's no army Return distance. The so. No, there's not. Whoa. Yeah, that's our yes. Someone keeps spam post me in GameSpeak. Same keeps closing my fucking game. Who is it? Lance Corporal got it. Yeah, I'm questioning I'm what this Jack can do with all this footage. It's getting fucking annoying here. Guys, Same. guys, seriously, stop. Cut that shit off, alright? Both of you. Roger. Does anybody have any questions over the AT4? Alright, so we'll split up into two groups. This group in front of me. You're gonna be subgroup one, the other group gonna be subgroup two. You guys all go to the box, grab an AT4 with three rockets. Marcatelli, you're gonna be with Burton Shaw. Godet, you're gonna be with Blaze. Wolf, you're gonna be with Kozlowski. Yes. I want to stand back there, Kowalski. What? Stop yeah, just, uh, just stand right there. Uh, shoot first, last shot, yeah. yeah, I will. I know you do. Well, I already fired this as well. Dude, I can take that. Back Lane 2, can you hear me over there? I can have to, actually. Yes, that's oh, right. If you guys are clear to fire, just make sure your back blast is clear. I loaded. Back blast area clear. Back blast clear. That's yeah, clear. What are, you, what are you doing? <laughs> he tried to kill me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going on the other side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where the hell were you shooting, God? At? <laughs> he was trying to kill me. <laughs> Back last is clear. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Is the back blast clear? What? <laughs> move out the way. <laughs> I didn't get a group. <laughs> Firing, firing, firing. Oh shit! Too low, okay. Keep her up. Back by clear. 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 Firing. Whoa! Back by clear. Oh shit. Oh no, yes, clear. Firing. Oh, they took mines. I'm already Who's forward? Sorry, sir. Burton Shaw's caught for him. 
Jack, so can you not point to that AT4 at Private Schmuckatelli? I got you covered if you want to stop, man. I'm squatting you, Schmuckatelli. You're good to go. How it up? Yeah, Schmuck, there's that little good. bastard that's hiding over there in the woods. Backflash is not clear. We got two guys, heavers behind us. Backflash clear. Fire it. Fuck the private. <laughs> he said fuck the private. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Uh, Too short. Staff Sergeant Boyle. Yes. Since the other lane is open, can we go ahead and just grab that one? Yes. Nice. A little short. Uh, I can't hear Staff Sergeant. Yeah, dude, take that Rally away. Up. Yeah, take the lane. Alright. Here, Smug, I'll drop a rocket for you. I got it. This back blast clear. I don't have another rocket. This back blast clear. Yeah, let's, let's shoot, let's I know. Shoot. Here you go. You're wasting the moon for funding money. Um, hold on. Person. There you go, buddy. Don't <laughs> get me another one. Take that fucking dick off that paddling. Let's go. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. That's a negative staff sergeant. That's Put your gun on, got it. Why are you walking around with it again? Back blast is clear. Back blast clear. Burke. Oh shit, that was a third person. Yeah, I'll grab another one. You're clear. Alright. Clear back blast. Back blast clear. Clear the primary. Fire the hole. That, it was a little, it was a, it hit it, but it was, it was hit the rails. Hit the rails. That's a hard. I mean, target to penetrate, you know? No, I'm just saying, if he hit us a little higher. I'm reporting you to the command, Sam. Bad bats clear? What? Alright, I need to get away from God Eddie's he's crazy. Guys, he's crazy. Who is this? Be fun. Fucking great. He's okay. <laughs> he's a <laughs> mom. <laughs> he's a <laughs> This is what happens when people are fucking autistic on the range. What is he carrying? It's not 15. He got a small, he got a mall. <laughs> Get him healed up. Cause I don't even think I have fucking much supplies. Back last clear. Clear fire. Rocket. Good shit. Really good shit. Alright, you're good to go put your AT4 in your back? Alright. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and... Go ahead and just put it back in the box and uh, line us purple got at You guys go ahead and do the 249 range next. Can well, I shoot this Maz rocket? No. no. You guys really need to stop fucking around. You guys are going to. Sorry, Brick, I left you. How come you guys aren't with everybody else? We, took a vehicle. we all have our own vehicle. Got um, it. Okay, listen, got it. Fucking team killed me at the day C4 range. He wouldn't get out of the vehicle, so we took our fucking own. I mean, 
We're getting to our objective. We're not trying to do anything big. We're just trying to get here and get this stuff done. I'm not blaming you, I'm just trying to get, no, no, I just understand. I don't like playing the blame game. You look so beautiful with the on 249. Here he comes, bitchin'. Oh, uh, wait. Guys, you need to stop running off on your own. <laughs> and don't team kill me so we can't get in the vehicle. I, I wouldn't, no, nobody team killed anybody. You guys should've just got him in. Whoa. Right, I'm gonna go kill some fucking computers T and shit. Tonight is the training, though. Let's get the fuck over with. Shut up. Okay, right. group one. Yes, Return to formation. So we're gonna cover. Shut up. Jackson. Um. We're gonna cover some quick things, and then we're gonna do a live fire exercise. So a little background on people down. It has been in the operation of the United States Armed Forces since the 80s, and it is a gas-operated light machine gun. And we can use linked ammo, basically like belt fed, or you can actually use the nag max for this, and it fires a 5 5 round. Um, so, if you're over in a shared defense scenario and you run out of belts, search some bodies for some stenag rounds, some, some stenag mags, or get some from your buddies, because um, that's what this shit was designed for. There, I shouldn't hear an excuse for why you need people to man's out of ammo. Um, so, it's, it's important that this. Sh 249 basically main, we maintain operability at all times because it helps us to gain and maintain prosperity uh, um, upon the enemy. So, if for some reason somebody with 249 dies in, the, in you know, on the planet or something like that, we need to know about it so we can either replace him. Um, it depends on if he's coming back or not. So, basically, when, when if that happens, we'll get to it. But I don't want, I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, so 249s are designated at each deployment by the team there, and one of the reasons that they're designated at the each uh, deployment is because whoever is the 249 gunner is the 2IC. So if like, Smoker Kelly is the 249 gunner in a fire team, he is the tip, User second in charge. Timed out. If the team leader were to be lost, sir. Yes. Uh, let's put it Break your set. Tom Shack, Channel 1, Freak 200. 300. Five by five, BG. Just want to tell you the other radio. Okay. Kowalski, was that you on radio? Negative. You guys Whoa. are ready here. Who's on this net? We're all on this net, so stop talking on it. Roger. Radio check. Five by five. All right, you're next to each other. All right, what's the uh... We're only going to use... The, only, the, the radio is only for uh, him. Radio check. Five by five. Five by five. I go once a radio check over. You guys are still ready. ready to shoot? That's enemy from last corporal. All right. Yeah, that radio check. You guys are ready to shoot? Alright guys, at this time, we're going to uh, commence the live fire exercise on everybody. Pick one, one person on your team to be the gunner, the other one will be observing. And I'll then that gun. person... Kowalski, I got this. You ready? How am I gonna screw with that? Alright, once you've designated who will be firing, d deploy your bipod by pressing left, alt, and the shift. Firing. Take a group of targets and fire upon them. Time now.
I just get shooting. Um, I get shooting. Get shooting, shoot, sir. I was not the channel. Uh, um, um, we're to switch gunners. So the other person is now going to be the yep. designated gunner. Uh, the other person is reserve. Pick up the targets. And when yeah, you're ready, try to scope commence like firing. Where are you gonna Make sure your butt was deployed. Try to scope. Yeah, I'm going to shoot first. They don't. Alright, go. My controller was vibrating, um, going psycho. Alright, let's not miss. Alright, let's, let's not miss. We're going to be going over, we're going to be going over an exercise real quick called, uh, it's pretty much, we like to call it talking guns. Um, that's where the two of you will be taking turns firing, so it'll, it'll be basically alternating fire. Um, as soon as the other person right. stops, the, one will co the other one will commence, and then it'll be, be flopping back and forth. Uh, pick a group of targets that you agree on, and... Right up the middle. You guys should have designated who's going to be starting, and then you're going to alternate. Um, we're going to do we're going to do two rounds of this, so we can get some good filming in. So when you guys are ready, commence firing. Go, Falky. It was like I was right, shooting and then Burke, Burke was shooting. I was shooting and then Burke was shooting. Uh, I was shooting and then Burke was shooting. Uh, I, was shooting. Uh, <laughs> I held the trigger down, dude. Yeah, I, I seen that. <laughs> Who brought me, guys? Alright, so we went over a couple different firing exercises there, two of them pretty much. Um, one where basically as a gunner, you know, you're going to be firing short control bursts to suppress the enemy. Uh, you need to make sure that, you know, you're maintaining control of your gun, right? And you're not spraying and praying. The second one we went over talking about guns. Um, that's where if you're ever working with another gunner, um, you want to utilize that technique because it conserves ammunition and ensures that we always have one gun going. Um, you don't, you don't want to get to this point, you don't always have to alternate either, it can be, you know, this guy's going to be shooting and then when he reloads, you're going to switch and this guy's going to be firing. Just have to pull come up. 
shit. The hell Why is that? Why the fuck are we taking fire? <laughs> We're not. It's just that, uh, that Most of my fire. Pulling the trigger while we sit Most down. Alright, stand fast, quiet. Well, They're coming. Shut easy. up. I don't know. Rally up. I don't know where they are. Just hold fast and quiet. Oh, Please. fuck. Just drop your guns if you're gonna keep shooting. That's on my back. Yeah. Alright. Dump it out rounds for my dead Quiet, president. Lieutenant is in. Yeah, it's a glitch. Don't fucking do that. Good, are you in charge of I apologies, Lieutenant Johnson. Yes, I'll see. Alright, give me fucking. Give me the order under control. I'll do that. Garage. Wow, now I'm the only one rose to salute. Yeah, no attention to deck or nothing. Bridge just wants an ass to stupid motherfucker. That's all we are. Great, great to rub it in, man. Yeah, I'm not a stupid motherfucker. Right. You're gonna make a lot of friends here real fast, Mook Kelly. <laughs> I don't know if that was like an eight install or like. He's my best friend. Oh, whatever. For sure. I'm just saying, the rest of y'all are. If y'all are trying to simulate what Marines are like, man, y'all are doing a really piss poor job. That's wonderful. At least everybody we're here, training, right? what we're talking about, everybody who watches this video. We're talking about the guys that are already like PFCs and stuff. And you're fucking squaring away the rest of us recruits. Okay, enough with the negativity. Do you think you're special? Fucking right, dude. Because y'all are PSCs and PSCs. Okay, enough with the, the negativity. You be the boss. You're in charge. For uh, this portion of the training, guys, all they're gonna need to be out of your seats. They can access your radios and other shit like that. Yo, sorry. Alrighty. So today we're gonna be going over how to basically switch channels and decide your frequency on the radio as well as talking over the radio with like proper radio etiquette and shit like that alright sure. so first thing to access long range you're going to want to hit control and P at the same time a little radio should pop up on the left hand side of your screen this is your ANPRC 152 handheld radio. This should be what you see on the radio is a C and then a number. That is your current channel, channel 1. And you should see another series of numbers. That is your frequency. So just because you're on channel 1 does not mean you will always be able to hear everyone else on channel 1. You need to have the exact same frequency as everybody else. So for this training purpose, we're going to be on channel 1, frequency 288. To change that, you hit the CLR button, you click that on your radio, you clear the freak. Then using your numpad, you hit 288. And then to enter that, you click the ENT button to set your frequency on your radio. There are some other things on your radio that you should be aware of. That are, if you see the left and the right air buttons at the bottom of the radio. The right air button, you can change that to your speakers or to your headphones. If it's on speakers, it'll play over a loudspeaker to where everybody around you can hear it. Go to the left, you set additional channels. We don't really use that right now. Quick note, just heard me. Yes. On, hold on. All right, I'm on yelling. Um, on the speaker setting, um, that is not really something, that's not something you should utilize. It is, we can get very destructive and confusing if we have everybody on speakers. So we need to make sure that the team that you have the headphones, um, because your entire team doesn't need to hear what's coming down the chain of command. Um, if for some reason you do need to put speakers on, you need to ensure that your volume is down or else everything is extremely loud and distorted. Well, yeah. do you have something you wanted to say? I'm sorry, we missed your PTS. Uh, yeah, I don't have a ANPRC 152. I have sure, you the can have rifle one ready. That's right, I got it. Alright, there you go. Thank you, sir. Alright, you guys, the other thing to be aware of, 
is the little zero button that is on your radio, your stereo settings when you cursor over it. That is to change what headphone you hear this radio in. You can hear it just in the left, just in the right, or the left and the right. The other thing to be aware of, up at the very top of the radio, the middle antenna, that is your decrease and increase volume button. If you left click on it, you will decrease your volume and it will be displayed on the right hand bottom corner of your screen. If you right click, it will increase the volume. The minimum volume is 10, the maximum is 100. So set it accordingly to where it's not obnoxious and loud for you, but you can still hear it. Alright. Does anybody have any questions about the shit on the radio or how to properly set it up? I use that as far. Alrighty. So if you click escape, it'll get your radio out and you're back to your normal screen. To talk over the short range, it is the cap socks button. Before I continue, everybody on channel one at frequency two eight eight. If you don't know if you are, on your radio, you should see, you should see C1, and there should be a space, and the number is 288 on your radio. Is there anybody that does not see those numbers on your radio? Alright, good. So then, now we're going to go proper radio etiquette. Whenever we have call signs in the unit, alright? So the platoon leader's call sign is Ares 16. The platoon sergeant's is Ares 17. First squad leader's is Ares 11. The fire teams are designated by the same call sign, beginning call sign, as a squad leader. So, for instance, Alpha's fire team in first squad, his call sign is Ares 11 Alpha. And Browse is Ares 11 Alpha. And then Charlie's Ares 11 Charlie. Does that really make sense? Like, does that make sense? So, Ares 1-1 signifies that they are in 1st platoon, that's what the first letter, uh, the first number stands for, and the second number signifies the squad. So the squad leader for 2nd squad, their call sign is going to be Ares 1-2, 1st platoon, 2nd squad. Alright, that, that's why it's set up like that. Kill. Yeah, fuck yeah, kill, yeah. Rocket, rocket. Go ahead, Slav. <clears throat> Just so everyone knows that Aries 1 1, um, Aries is the company call sign. So, like, for instance, if we had another company, let's say it was like, I don't know, Phoenix. So it'd be Phoenix 1 1, because that's the company, platoon, then squad, and then your fire team is the letter that follows afterward. Just so everyone knows that, you know, there's a standard. Yeah. Italian first, then platoon, then squad. Huh. Alright guys, so, whenever you have initially set up comms in op, if you have a radio, you're going to want to make sure you do a radio check. Normally you'll do a radio check with the platoon staff, alright? So for instance, say everybody was on the same net, fire team, squad leader, platoon sergeant, platoon leader, everyone's on the same net. Alright, I'd call it up, is say I am a fucking second squad alpha fire team leader, and say I'm doing a radio check to the platoon sergeant who's Aries 17, you'd say it like this, Aries 17, this is Aries 12 alpha radio check over, but you say the person you're talking to which is Aries 17, and you say your call sign, this is who I am, so they know who you are, and then you want to signify what you're doing, you're doing a radio check, and you want to make sure you say over, when you say over, that signifies, I have said what I need to said, you can go ahead and speak now, and they respond, Aries 1 2 Alpha, this is Aries 1 7, read you Lima Charlie, over. Lima Charlie stands for loud and clear, so they responded, we read you loud and clear, and they signified over, and you respond, Aries 1-2 Alpha out. Whenever you say out, that signifies that is the end of the whole talking phase, alright? So never use over and out in the same transmission. 
Has everybody got that? Yep. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> oh, who the f who the fuck put a tourniquet on me? That's not important. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So now we're gonna go over some basic other shit. Say you're calling in, like for whatever reason you're calling in enemies. All right. For this. Um, it's just a proper radio etiquette um, example. Um, so we're actually going to say it over the radio. Um, for this demonstration, um, Lieutenant Johnson here will be his call sign will be Alpha One, and mine will be Bravo One. Um, we're just going to do a quick little like explanation, like an example of how it's like, supposed to be done. All right. Preacher, how am I king? Cookies. So, I just put him on push to talk. Alrighty, LT, you ready? Yep. Alrighty. Oh, I'm sorry, am I Alpha 1 or Bravo 1? You're Alpha 1, sir. Got it. Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1, over. Bravo 1, this is Alpha 1, send message over. Alpha 1, we have secured the LZ, over. Bravo 1, I can't believe you secured the LZ, over. Alpha 1, that's a solid copy. Bravo 1, out. Alright, so does everyone understand that? Yep. Like yeah. that makes sense to everybody? Yes, so yeah. I said, the person I'm talking to his name, and I said my name, and we ended it there. And he responded, okay, whoever's talking to me, it's me, go ahead and send your message. I sent the message that I needed. This message in the example was that we have secured an LZ. All right. He doesn't say instantly, solid copy, that's wrong. All right, when I send the transmission to him, the proper way to do it is you're supposed to read it back to the person that sent it. So as he said, Bravo 1, I copy that you have secured the LZ. So it's almost like a question. You're saying it back like, is this what actually you said? And that's when I responded, this is Bravo 1, solid copy, out. So the transmission was ended there. We call right. that freeway communication. And that reduces any errors and confusions that might come up by, um, you know, I guess... Uh, if you say you're getting a shitty radio transmission and you can hear somebody like 2x5 they're breaking up or somebody's firing a gun next to your face that way we can be, you know, we can assure that the message that was supposed to be sent was sent and there was you know, no confusion there. Yeah. So, does everybody understand like the proper using of the term over, the proper use of the term out? Over is when you're done with the transmission and I mean, out is when you're done with the transmission, over is when you're expecting a reply. Exactly. That was very good, but I like that. So whenever you say over, you've said what you need to sped, said, but you, you're expecting somebody to reply to you. When you say out, it's done and over, nobody replies. It's got that? The stuff yep. like that. Yeah, clear enough, usually the person that started the transmission, which was myself in that case, is usually the person that ends the transmission completely. Anybody have any questions over use over the radio? Yeah, okay. If you have a question, you're all broken up as shit. We, we, when I was a dude, we had a Launches? For the term out, right, wait out, feel like that. Those are called pro words. So I'm gonna send some more info. It's kind of like, hold on one sec. I'll get back to you in a minute. Alright. Or you're giving, like, signifying that there is, like, when you're giving grid coordinates, for instance, so you're giving a six digit grid. So you gave the first three letters, you'd say break, signifying, okay, those are the first three, now here's the next three. Alright, has everybody got that? Yep, that's the start. And some other things, like when you hear Lima Charlie over the radio, like I said, that stands for loud and clear, or Tango Mike, that stands for thank you much. On my way. So, shit like that. 
felt like. Say, for instance, you've been tasked with, say, your fire team leader, and your fire team has been tasked with moving to a certain location. You'd respond to them, I copy that we are moving here. And they'd respond to, yes, solid copy. And you'd respond to Oscar Mike. Oh, so you're saying, I'm on my way. That, that's what that stands for. Does everybody understand that? Yep. Yep. A little bit excited. Yeah. So for the next thing we're going to do, hold on one sec, wait wait for this bird to land, I can't hear shit. You just took off a city flying away. What in the hell? Are they really coming to land here? Did he really just fly over here? When he... Yeah, I don't know how many vehicles over there. I don't think Jackson. Oh. Fair enough, it was Wait, where is it at? Oh, we know it's... Alright, just want to tell you, go ahead to what you were going to say. Um, just a quick question about grid coordinates. User in your channel timed out. Um, yeah, go ahead. I was just wondering, um, are we going to have a specific class or is there a specific job designation for billet for, I guess, a JTAC? It's, um, it's going to be our RTO. It's, it's okay. Okay. Which, that is an open position right now. Copy that. That's all. Thank you, sir. Just pass on. Alright. Any other questions? Over, like, radio shit. Alright. So, for the next training that we're going to do, is Hold we're going to exit the... Oh, go ahead, sir. Yeah, so, I just want to kind of... We're going to get out of this little training. Like, uh... I guess, maybe real quick, I want to cover some stuff that I see in our ops. Um, the communication over the radios and stuff needs to not be... To your channel. Okay, so one of the reasons we're doing SLI, we're doing, you know, we go over radio comps so that people have a, a general understanding of how we want comps to be, right? So, because we're all talking about this, I expect you guys next operation to not be yelling show the radio like, hey, we got a technical over here. But if you say, hey, we got a technical over here, I don't know who the fuck you're talking to, I don't know where this technical is that you speak of because you didn't get any location on map or, you know, a fucking bearing from your position. Okay? It, it's useless information that clutters the radio. Alright? We, we need to make sure our comms are clear and precise. And, and and so that way there is no confusion, there is no misunderstanding at all. PTS Gov? Yeah, go ahead. Ahead. I do actually have a question. Uh, so I'm guessing every single squad is going to have their own, like, channel on the radio and then the TL is going to have what two channels to work on or yeah all right so like inside of our group channel well, our squad channel if uh let's say we were working on something and there's a technical rolling up we can yell over the we can tell like over our radio to our uh fire team leader that hey we got a technical coming up this and this road and then he can move that on right we don't have to worry about saying hey we got a technical and grid ref this 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 right yeah like, so you'll send it up and then he'll send it up and then you know it'll eventually reach where it needs to go. Yeah, okay, so we don't have to put it into exact full thing unless we're an RTO or team leader. Well, you still want to make sure that you call it out correctly because the more you pass it up, everyone's done the telephone game in real life, right? We all yeah. stand in line and one person says info, like kind of whispering, and they pass it down. So that's what can actually happen over the real radio. So you want to make sure that when you pass it up, you want to make sure you're giving them the best description that you can give them so when they pass it up they're giving them them the, their best description because the higher up it gets it might actually become more and more vague as it gets up as someone might fuck up and say the wrong grid or anything like that Thank all right that. thank you Steph. any more questions all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to fall out of the classroom when you yeah. exit the hangar you're going to turn right if everybody checks the map on the map, to the north, there is something called the base hospital. We are all going to meet up there, and we're going to go over basic medical. Everybody got that? Alright, go ahead and fall out. Meet over at the base hospital. Lance Corporal Gaudet, stay here. Oh, oh. Oh, I the BIS, boys. Hey.
Uh, no, we don't have BIS here. It's in the right. tent. You're, you're good to uh, do training, right? You. For the... Hey, Don't play with anything. Everybody, line up and wait for Lieutenant and Staff Sergeant. Let's go. Let's go. Make a line. Make it pretty, guys. Line up over here against the wall by the building. That's fine. Backs on the wall. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You shit for nothing. Yes, sir, camera master. Pussy popper for nothing. They don't call me pussy popper for nothing. They don't call you shit for nothing either. Alright, Shelly, quiet. Line up, thank you. Holster your weapons if you can. Thank you. Everybody hold, you can talk, but don't talk loud. Don't you fucking talk. Oh, he, he's, he's out now, sir. Not in well, oh. Lance Corporal Jackson, uh, the guys are for standby ready. Okay. Alright, thank you. Think I need to, I need to talk to him. You want to inject it with morphine like and had a tourniquet put on you? I guess I'm going to see if he's there. <laughs> you don't know I have a bigger one. Whoa. Um, I don't know, he's look black. The, look at the genetics. He's black enough <laughs> to get with it. There's plenty of black people that have the smallest sticks. Get the biological foot. But yeah, not this, this guy. Like black from the waist down. <laughs> <laughs> black from the waist down. <laughs> It's a medical condition, all right. Best part is Jackson's <laughs> fingers and wrists are all white. I find that kind of uh, funky. He's turning into Michael Jackson. <laughs> Jackson's black from the neck up, boys. Right? Oh my! All right, all right. Let's calm down here. He's to that W round. Jackson, yeah. Can you remove your um. Your, oh shit! They're coming. Fuck. Alright, gentlemen. So, next up in the net here, you can't hear you. Uh, the basic med shit. Well, I'll just see if your mic's muted. Nope, my bad. Figured it out. Alright. So, Lance Cobra got out here, is gonna be in charge of teaching you guys basic med shit. But before he does that, I'm gonna go over <coughs> the two terms that uh, we use, and that's gonna be tactical field care and care under fire. Alright, some of you may have heard those terms, some of you might know what they are, but we're going to go over it anyway, because I don't think Mr. everybody can define those terms, in layman's terms anyway, for a fucking retard. So, Time basically, down. the two terms, tactical field care and care under fire. So, care under fire is exactly as it sounds. You're doing medical care, basic med care, while you're getting shot at. Okay. The only thing, I'm going to make it really simple, the only thing you are going to do in care under fire scenario is stop the bleeding and that is only till a corpsman arrives to take care of the situation in a tactical field care scenario that's when the area is clear and you're not getting shot at that's where you can do more shit than just stopping the bleeding okay really simple does anybody have any questions over care under fire or tactical field care alrighty so like I said our job is going to be to bleeding. So tourniquets, packing bandages, shit like that. And it's Cobra Godet. It's your show from here. Okie dokie. Alright boys, so I'm just going to go over the basic stuff that a rifleman will have on him um, out in the field. I'm going to put it on you so you can him. Alright, so basically a basic rifleman will have uh, four types of bandages on him. Uh, they are as follows. Um, bandage with parentheses, basic bandage in parentheses, quick clot and a pack and bandage and a molasses bandage. Was moved to your channel. Um, so there's six different types of wounds you can get. Um, there's a partial small, small, partial medium, medium, partial large, and large. Um, each bandage has...
Wait, I think it's because it's black. That's racist. Come on, guys. Knock it's it not night time. Knock it off, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep. User in your channel timed out. Yeah, I'm back. <coughs> mm. We all go in the box and actually see what this shit looks like. Yeah, everybody go in the box. Yeah. So everybody come over here to these my boxes. Look inside of them. Don't fucking take anything. Just look at them so you know what everything looks like and what you guys all need to grab. Someone took my hand. Can we see someone in practice there? No. No. Oh. Huh. That's gonna fall down. down some AI so can shoot them so they can actually see what the med system no. looks like when they're ready. Fuck yeah. They'll, they'll know what it looks like when the time comes. Who's All taking right. shit? I don't know, man. There's no reason to be fucking taking shit. Uh, can, we, can we carry a personal aid, uh, aid kit on us? It doesn't work, it only nope. works for the corpsman uh, and it's out of a 10 degree. Yeah, I was gonna speak hey. of a creature, but uh... Someone has moved him already. Okay. Alright, you guys have looked at the stuff, go and line back up on the wall. Okay. LT, what do we need to grab? Nothing. Ow. Nothing. We're just, we're just looking at a different types of, of med stuff. So. Wolf, if you need to get in, just push Clark. Hey, He's that's my brother there. Like Come on, tighten it up, tighten it up. Clark, move back to I'm trying to tell me to stick down there. This is not the, it's not that hard, you guys. We don't need to be autistic about it. Get the fucking line on the wall. There's not enough room to make room. Alright. So you guys, I mean, got it, we don't cover a bunch of stuff, but it's important to know that you guys are all riflemen. Well, maybe not all of you, but um, none of your requirements. So, it's not your priority to diagnose what happened to somebody and try and throw on 30 different types of bandages and give them morphine and all that other shit. That's what a corpsman's for. That's their job. So, so that's what I'm going to go over point of fire versus type of field care um, and the difference, I guess, uh, between them. Um, oh, and what you, what, what is it? Well, you already did. I'm sorry. How are they? Okay, so I'm ahead of this. Oh, good. You guys already know what the difference is between them. So, we just need to, well, what did you cover, um, cover responsibilities, I guess? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, fuck. Alright, gentlemen. So, we only got two more things on our fucking list. We'll try and wrap it up real quick. So, we're going to be going over... Fire team tactics, which is going to include bounding, and if you're in your fire teams. If you don't know, fire team is split up and divided into four people. You got your fire team leader, and then you got your three fire team members. Alright. After that, we're going to be going over small unit tactics, which is more along the lines of multiple squads and shit like that. Okay? So, where exactly uh, would you like to do the fire team tactics? We're going to do it over to the CQB course. That's fire team drills. Alrighty. So. Uh, fire team leaders, where are you at? Take like a two steps forward, any fire team leader. Alright, so we got four of them. Five. Did you take mine, man? Okay. Yeah, but I'm just taking mine, man. Oh, I put mine in my bag, why? Oh, I'm fucking throwing mine out of mine. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Don't worry about it, we'll load another one. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, we're gonna split everybody up into a fire team. Um, fucking, if your fire team leader is here, get with them. Alright, and then we'll see who we got left. So, fire team leaders, spread out a little bit. Get you guys lined up behind you. Don't spread out fucking obnoxiously, but. What we got here? Where the hell am I supposed to go? Wolf. Recruit Wolf. Or Private Wolf. Yeah, I mean, is anybody here in Lance Corporal Jackson's fire team? What about Godets? No, no, no time engineers here. Fuck the yeah. fuck up. Is anybody here in the PFC Swab's fire team? Fucking jerk offs. Staff Sergeant, where would a recruit go to? Wolf, recruit. 
Who the fuck's in the crew here? Who? I'm older than you. Me, I just joined you. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. You guys. Join me. Come over here. So, Kozlowski and. Who the fuck's over here? Burton Shaw. Oh, shit. Alright, you're gonna go to Jackson. I take Burton Kozlowski. Right here, Perez, Preacher, Schmuckatelli. You guys are gonna go with PFC Suave. Where the fuck he went off to? He's back here. Find you. Just line up in front of you guys. Hey, cause, oh shit. Where the Let's fuck go is my guy? Go to fucking Jackson. Oh. Even, wait okay. a minute, hold on. It's Patrick, never mind, you're gonna be with nice Papa Jackson. Oh, Wolf, your place. Oh, just Wolf, your place. We got Blaze. Yeah. Lance Corporal Jackson, you're gonna be with Lance Corporal, uh, no. Disregard, Lance Corporal Gutta, you're gonna be with Lance Corporal Shelly and his fire team. Fuck you, just stuck. He's over here. Wow, we actually have it. So, this is what's gonna happen. Fire team leaders, you're gonna be responsible for grabbing a Humvee. Don't do it yet. You get that Humvee. Uh, pull it out front and get your fire team loaded up into it. Alright, and then wait for further orders. You guys got that? Yes, uh, Staff Sergeant. Alright, fire team leaders, make it happen. Why did you turn that? Alpha one one. Oh, 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 I'm gonna back, back up. Up. I'm gonna show Hey, you can grab a gear at the CQC that has a box there. Alright, uh, Berg, everybody load up into the vehicles over here. The first one. Yeah. Move your vehicle over into the grass so it's not right in the middle. Okay. Channel 1. Alright, Jackson, you're big right here. That's all I'm You're gonna be on Where channel 1. Oh, yeah, yeah, did you just spawn in one? Yeah. No, we didn't. Oh. Oh, shoot.
boy just drive across the fucking grass. So we'd follow the front Vic and uh, report no. in front of fucking high tide six. We're gonna we're gonna take the taxi over there and mm -hmm. go in the bottom of the alley. Oh, okay, well, just follow, yeah, just follow the taxiway then. Just don't follow the road. Unless Can I get uh, my channel again? I think it's in the road. Frequency two eight eight. Yes. Uh, I currently have uh, private driving. Do you want uh, the team leaders driving vehicles? Oh, they can drive. Okay. Uh, that's okay. how it should be, but I think he'd be coming over there. Yeah. Is that my walking the hangers and then we'll pass it over? Uh, it should be. Yeah, it's built in. Uh, it's not. Are we good? Are we good yeah, so you guys are good to load up. Just wait so, we we can, so we can't drive around without that. We can drive can. around to the yeah, road. Yeah, we can drive around. The road, yeah. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. How about somebody hop on a gunner? So drive along the road then. Cut okay. back in. Cause low SK. Hop on my seat. Hop on a gunner. User in your channel timed out. Or you can drive this time. Recruit. Hop on a gunner. How about for? Thank you. See my computer. We're gonna be taking the taxiway over there, by the way. Taxiway, not the road. Taxiway, yeah. Or we're gonna be following the first big, so I think Boy is gonna lead us there, or whoever's driving. Taxi, you have a radio? Yeah. Respond to them. They said, we're on, I'm on channel 1280. You should be channel, you should be channel 288. 288. Channel 2? 288, freak. Okay. Channel 1, channel 1, and then, uh, freak is 288. And channel 2 is 288? No, channel 1, freak, 288, 288. Okay. I have some problems, hold on. This is Jackson, sorry. Thought you said 2. Wait. Yeah, oh, I got the wrong radio. You take mine, I'll put it in the car. I'm liking this big gun, I gotta say. Tempted to fire it, but I'm not going to. This is Jackson, I read you. We're ready. Alright, Vix. Roll up to the CQB course. Follow the Vix in front of you. Charlie, take lead. Alright, go. We're taking lead, go. Where are we going? To the uh, taxiway to the uh, course. CQC. Taxiway, alright. Yep, taxiway. Somebody told me the road. Taxiway or road? I'm going taxiway. Road. Road, 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 road. Hey, it's 1-1 one, one, Bravo, taking left turn. Put a fucking tourniquet around your neck. Oh, there's call signs. Oh, there's call signs. Dismount for your teams. Dismount. Call signs all 
Charlie's call sign to make sure all of your troops are in the correct SOP as we would be in a combat scenario. I'll copy over. Here's one one Bravo copies. Here's one one Alpha copies. There's no BIS over here. It is. It's on the box. So therefore I'm out of SOP. Greg, right, if you need to go load your gear, you can go hit the box up. Got it all. Bert. Up. You can go load your gear up at the box over there. Yep. <coughs> Take mine. No, 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 that's fine. No, I don't need a fucking sight. Can you guys quit tugging yourself? Yeah, uh, tugging yourself off over there. Okay. Can you quit being a squeaker? Hey, 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 stop. How about, hey, how about hey, we respect on. each other and just relax, no. okay? Hold on. For real. Hold on. Who the hell said stop being a squeaker? That is not. That's against all unit rules. You should. Be Wolf. Jackson, never man that man. Just because he is holding Bend him over him. Just just put your thing in his butthole. Stop, Shelly. Really? That's not helping, Shelly. You're a Lance Corporal. Keep everybody in control. Let's go, Jackson. Let's go after man that man. Who the hell said that? Anyway? Who just said that? Stop Private Wolf. Here. Yep. The fuck, Wolf. That's fucked up. Let me hear it out of your mouth again, okay? Alright, I'm tired of taking everyone's fucking shit. Honestly? Yeah. Say, I promise got it. I promise got it. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Jackson. Get down, Jackson. Corrupt. I don't care. Alright, let's go. Jamming radios in 3, 2, 1. Aries 1 1 Alpha, Aries 1 1 Bravo, yep. move your teams to the front of the CQB course. Break. Aries 1 1 Charlie, Aries 1 2 Alpha, hold fast outside by the VIX. Over. Let's go, Charlie. Alright, 1 1 on me. Alright, everybody hold. Line up on the wall. Uh, Bravo, go on the other side. Weapons drone. Oh, I thought we was Alpha. We took point. What the hell? It's Charlie, guys. Alright, Bravo over here. Yes, sir. Alpha in the position that counts. Yeah, the position gets shot. I'm back. Uh, hey, Staff Sergeant, we don't need to turn the floor on, so it's like we're in a real combat situation. So now you have to hold fast. Aries 1-1 Charlie, what is your uh, location? Over. Back to work, Charlie, by the way. Oh, shoot, we're Charlie? Okay. What the fuck? Hey, Charlie hey. is up over here on the wall with uh, Alpha and Bravo. Where's the rest of our squad? Weren't there more guys here? Okay, I thought we were going to do all four like a big old assault. Okay, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Okay, I guess we just stand out here then. <laughs> Alright, sit out here. We can talk, talk on Whisper. Berg. What is it with Whisper anyway? Berg, what's wrong? What is Whisper? When you whisper and they can hear you from far away. No, yeah, I know, but what's Whisper okay. key? Control tab. Hey, right, sorry, that's here. What is it? Uh, no, what is it? Shut up, real quick. Sorry about that, second attempt. Yeah, finish asking a question while I'm not talking. Um, we're gonna do, we've been doing fire team tactics. Um, we're gonna be doing two fire teams at a time. 
So you and one two alpha are just gonna chill out here and shoot the shit, and we should have you guys in there within ten minutes. It shouldn't take long at all. It's just easier to do uh, do it in smaller groups. So you guys just go ahead and chill. Okay. Let's got you go run to the map real quick. Yeah, okay. What are the keys for uh, whisper? His control tab. Control tab. Uh, okay, now to whisper it. Don't say anything stupid. Like, you what know. Was it? Like don't. Like, um. This is being filmed. Just, just, just act normal, okay? Act normal, guys. Act normal. Oh my God, you're like a superstar. He's not here. Look, look, look at that face. Look like he was a movie. Like <laughs> he looked like he's like supposed to be a soldier and at the same time a skydiver. <laughs> yeah, really. Break, you all right, baby? Oh, yeah. Right? Stuck on walking. Oh. I'm thinking, I don't know, should I be using an ACOG or an aimpoint? What's better? I'm good for this. For this is probably an aimpoint. Yeah, but nothing to really kind of the best. Aimpoint's much better for this. Oh, you can use an aimpoint. I'm gonna have one just in my gear, just in case. Hurry up. Let's go kumbaya with the other group. I'm gonna go see what they're doing. Look sexy over there, baby, with that M4 in your hand. Hmm? So you look sexy over there walking with that M4 in your hand. You know I love you, right? <laughs> hey guys, how you guys doing? Nah, man, I, I get, I get it. The nature of the job. Finally, one guy with a saw. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no one ever carries it. I want to carry one. I want to be on bad boys out front. Aren't y'all going to get into that loadout? Like one saw and an AT guy? No, they're probably going to make you switch, probably. Uh, they said as, as, as if we were in a combat situation, which means the saw and an AT force, they could eat my boss. Alright, Burke, you can go grab a saw if you want. There is a tank in there. Yeah, yeah there is a tank in there. Burke and Shaw, I'll touch with a saw, go grab one. I, that that would be long. Because we were prepared. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're the only ones prepared for this. What's the saying? Uh, Alright, Kalaski. Uh, or Kala. Uh, damn it, how do you say your name? Jesus, what are you saying? Uh, Recruit J. It's a Navy thing. How do you say your last name? What was that? How do you say your last name? Kozłowski. Oh, Kozłowski. Go grab a two, uh, two Kyle, Kyle, please. Go, okay, Kyle, we'll get it. We'll get a saw. Saw. Wait. wait. Uh, are you? Yeah, you're in my group. Oi. Well, it's a combat situation. What are y'all girlfriends doing in a school circle? If the grenade fucking drops right here, we're all fucking dead. We're not yeah. in combat situation right now. We're on chill mode, so there's no type. Yeah, we are. I mean, if y'all wanted to, man, I could, I could have made that. Nope. Happen, real quick. No. We're good. Please, you, you don't want to deal with what's in it. Y'all let a combat engineer on this fucking game, dude. Y'all fucked up. <laughs> y'all act like I don't have fucking C4 in my back, like a claymores or some shit. Shut up. Oh, I thought you had to do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Please, <laughs> you get the death I'm just bullshit. I won't do that to y'all. I do got some grenades though if y'all wanna fuck around. No, we're not fucking around. <laughs> around. <laughs> That'd be cool if you actually pick up the grenades. Guys, you know they can still see and hear and watch us right now, right? You know that. Relax. They said go, go over there and chill out. It's always Patrick doing PT on the ground. Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, if we're gonna fucking, if we can just jaw jack, let's just spread out a little bit. Um, so just, what, did I just, what, what, what? What is this? Did I just walk into an orgy or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just walking into our professional performer, Fitzpatrick here. Oh, uh, 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 you think. Hey, Alpha, this is Paul and Bravo. We're set. Hey, guys, let's go actually watch them. Let's go up on that balcony and watch them. Everyone's yeah. so a jar. Alright, walk. Don't talk. If you don't talk, put it on whisper. One one Bravo, this is one one Alpha. Be about to say, uh, we're set. I just got arm and same by. Binoculars time.
Alright, put your things on Whisper and use binoculars. My binoculars? I see them, mothers. We have yeah, they've got them. I don't know if he's supposed to be watching, but this looks so fun. We're spying. I wonder if they know that we're over here. They're not, no, they're not, they're not paying no attention. They go to turn around and see a whole bunch of heads. <laughs> They're gonna turn. Oh, oh, shoot, he's looking. He's looking. Oh, shit. Oh, he's getting down. I'm down. I'm through that. Screw that. Everyone collapses. <laughs> Look, he said, fuck it. I'm just gonna stand up and get looked at. Fucked up, Panani's. You gotta be aware at all times. Dude. Second I'm Lieutenant Johnson was just looking at us. Marines, not let them they they actually look they actually look pretty set up if you look at them look nice they look beautiful <laughs> except except for the last guy uh got at too far behind uh forward yeah for like sure. a little tiny little gap he's miles forward what the hell I just mm -hmm. one Bravo Series one seven be sure to switch to a pistol that you were set to know they're going to move over yeah imagine yeah, he already did. He was just looking at us. He looked back to us. This is problem. This is no bueno. One Bravo, this is one one Alpha. No bueno. Interrogative break. Are you gonna want us to peel right to the western side of the building and move around? Over. One one Bravo, one one Alpha. This is one one Charlie. You guys are looking at him down there. Imagine if, wait, did the LT hear that? Or is that a real transmission? Please tell me. Please. <laughs> no, it was no real transmission. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, we're screwed. Why, why is Wolf with him? He's like so, a, he looks like a freaking bystander with the pilot suit on. Yeah. You gotta fucking take note what they're doing wrong and not make those same fucking mistakes. Yep. Oh shit, he's coming. Stand fast. Stand fast, salute the suit at the gate, salute. Yes, sir. Attention on deck. Aries 1-1 one, one Alpha. Attention on deck. Please right. stand on. Aries 1-1 Bravo, Aries 1-1 Alpha, be by <laughs> <laughs> Put your guns down. Take that shit off speaker, whoever has off speaker. Someone's gonna get armored and die, I know it. Everybody Lieutenant, did we look? Down. Sorry. Step down from the platform. Whoa! This is oh my god! You're running. What are you doing, man? Doggies, yeah, that's not good. All right, gather rounds. Did we look cool? Did we look like we was like a uh, freaking cheerleaders up there, <laughs> looking down? Yes. No, no, I'm what's it called? I'm ready, isn't it? Is it uh, wished? All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna go over some things with you guys. We're gonna have a brief on what we're about to do. Um, so. Because we had the separate, first things first, because we had the separate channels between actual, we have a squad net and we have team nets, like a, like a squad net, which is all team leaders and the squad that are on, and then we have the platoon net, I should say, which is where our platoon, platoon staff, and then you have our squad leaders on that net, right? So, Jesus. Within the Perez. Yes, sir. Push to talk. Yes, sir. All right. So because we have that, it's not necessary for, you know, for, you can be a little bit less, less informal. Jesus Christ. It can be a little bit less informal than, say, it would be if you were, you know, um, talking to somebody that you don't know to talk to. So, I mean, the teams are working together. You don't need to say, uh, Aries, one on Alpha, this is one on Bravo. Uh, we're set here, ready for you to move up. How copy? Wait for a reply. And then fucking go from there. If you guys are doing fire team bounding, like, which is what we're about to do right now. It needs to be, it needs to be clear and concise, but it's okay for it to be kind of short. So I don't want to, I don't want to lead you guys astray from it. You know, we don't want it to be fucking confusing as shit and all mixed up and not, not clear, and not you know precise in what we want our message to be across. But it needs to be, um, it doesn't need to be super formal, okay? Um, um sir, may I yeah. interrupt? Oh, so the, the, does that mean we can then? Um, 
we can, as individual fire teams, we can make up our own um, call signs if it's an appropriate call sign to uh, to remember. Uh, no, I mean, I would, I'm gonna say no. To that I mean, you still. I mean, you still between uh, between oh us two, you know, since we're going in there. I see. I just saw that the other two fire teams are working as a group. I just thought that we could yeah. somewhat get a understanding about that later on or something. Uh, for now, we're going to stick with just fire team names, so you don't need to say, I mean, for the purpose of this training, 1-2 Alpha and 1-1 one, one Charlie, that's what I need to say. So, Copy. But when we're doing fire team bounding, that's where we're going to move. One fire team is, is providing support fire. Zeris 1-7, begin the fire team exercise by uh, Seneca Transmission. Remember live fire. Remember live fire. Zeris 1-1 Bravo, Zeris 1-7, begin the fire team exercise by Seneca Transmission. Over. Huh? No, I turned mine off, I just checked it. Everybody get in close. Get in close, guys. Not the butt. Shut up. Get off of yelling. Oh, you're right there. There you are. Pete, hey, turn off for yelling. Go to normal. Where's everybody else? Over there, at the wall. Get off for yelling, though. Okay, thank you. You look like you're a rep, not a rebel. <laughs> he he looks like an special instructor. Alright, Dominic, can everybody hear me? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't fucking call me sir. No call me. Stop, Sergeant. Alrighty. So, one fire team is going to be posted up on this corner of this building. Your objective is if you look straight down, it's almost like an alleyway. You'll be moving down here. I'm going to let you guys run through it first. You're going to be doing fire team bounding. The other fire team will be over here next to this rock. The, one, the team next to the rock will be the support press team fire team. Out set. The team that is on the building will be the bounding team at first. You are going to leapfrog down this little so-called alleyway until you reach the wall on the other side, as I understood. Yes. Why are they using as the radio? I already explained to you, times are going to be somewhat informal, so you don't need to go. Aries 1 1 Charlie, this is Aries 1 2 Alpha, we are set over. They yes, can just awesome. say over the radio, Aries 1 2 Bravo, or 1 2 Alpha set. And then you can be like, Aries 1 1 Charlie moving. One Bravo, really simple set. shit clean like that. Alright. 1 Alpha moving. So, I'm going to let you guys run through it first and see how you guys think it needs to be done. Fire team members, this is fire team leaders. After that, we'll run through it again, and we'll go over improvements and shit like that. Alrighty? One went out with set. So, um, uh, PTS. Yes, go ahead. Why are they using the radios out there? One Bravo moving out. 
I'm not hearing yeah. him over the radio. I'm, I'm yeah, hearing him radio. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong frequency. <laughs> we gotta be on 288, right? Try yep, 288. Because we didn't talk on the radio. Yeah, yeah, we we'll, go, we'll go to 284. Everybody One change your radio. 284. Copy. Radio check, Jackson. Gotcha. Every stealing each other. Alright, so we're all on the radio. Alright, Jackson, your team is going to be the bounding team, so you're going to be posted up here in that corner. Suave, your team is going to be the suppressive fire team. We're going to be posted up at that rocket first. Is that understood? Put two alpha on me. Yeah, man. Two alpha. One two alpha on me. Are we gonna need a lot of ammo? I got 18 bags if you need any. Yeah, I need some ammo. Two alpha. It's gonna be a log fire exercise, so you can I got throw grenades. Me. You can shoot and you can throw smoke as needed. I need some ammo. Be careful on the grenades, though. We don't want anybody fucking. Die. Back up. You don't need to get up. Oh well, it's Burke. Never mind. Okay. Can I get a little more ammo? Cause if yeah, we're doing live fire. Yeah, you can actually realize so 16 minutes. Just to toss hey, me like two. For you, Burke. Yeah. Make sure you guys are sure the radio lines are high enough on that fire. Alright, back up, Burke. Hey, Charlie. Are you good to go? Alright. Mm -hmm. right. Now you can go point. The order went to move. Once we alpha this sad boy. I firm. Aries 1-1 one, one Charlie, are you good to go? What the hell? Oh, good over here. Aries 1-2 Alpha. Guns up. Start the fire training exercise by telling going, the other Jackson? fire team that you are Yeah, where are we going? And that they can bound. 1-1 one, one, Charlie, 1-2 one, Alpha 7. We're gonna bound to that, uh... Okay. Oh, okay. All the way over. Yeah. All right, uh, we're gonna take back through the back way through that uh, to our left. Let See that building? We're, right. we're gonna be crossing line of fire. We're taking the back way to get to the other compound. Right. All right, move, 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 move. All right, start moving. Come on, come on. Okay, ready. Two, four, nine. I want you to get laid down and suppress the fire until we move down this. Move up. Two, four, nine. Come up. Gotcha. Lay down and suppress the fire a little bit while we move. I got back. I got back. Got gotcha. you. Suppress Where the fire. Go, hey, Open sorry, fire. Sorry. Oh, we're moving. Two four nine above. What the we got hell? <laughs> what you guys want me to do? Lost right, someone. Go, go regroup with your fire team. Okay. They get separated. Check radio, right make sure I'm good. Okay. Seems around everybody. Okay. Burke, what's wrong with him? What's up? What's wrong with my bud, Betty Burke? He's with us. Yeah, he's uh, I think he got hit. Okay, uh, send him up when he's good. 
Hold fast, guys. See? See? Stick too close to the walls, Perez. I don't know if this shit's gonna fucking Aries 1 to Alpha, Aries 1 with Charlie, yeah, all yeah, current positions. One Charlie, move back to the other building where one one uh Bravo is. Charlie, regroup at the very beginning of the CQB course and wait there for further orders. LT, are you back yet? Yeah, I need to. Oh, yeah, we need to talk already. Right. One, two, Alpha, Bravo, one, two, Alpha on me, buddy. Let's go, guys. I want Charlie back to the front. Let's go. One, one, Charlie, let's go. Charlie on two eight four. Nobody's listening. Shot. Why is everybody nobody listen? Like I told my fire team to follow me and they're all the way up there. What the fuck is going on? Not your fault, man. It's just fucking training, dude. That's what happens in training. <laughs> but you're right, dude. Fucking people need to listen. And this is fucking training. I'm fucking off. I can't boys. Okay. Preacher. Come on, man. <laughs> I, 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 I don't have any butter or anything on me. I can't access the arsenal. I'm chased. I can't access the arsenal. Here we spell it. Fuck around the pussy, Mike. Uh oh, man. 1-1 Charlie, stay on me. What the hell is everybody doing? Ooh. Where's Boyle? I don't have acne. One one Charlie, I need you back into the practice back at the beginning. Come on. Story. But this wait, wait, you talking about when we was moving and I set the saw gunner down? 
fucked up, man. I got shot after you died. When we were... It was yeah, the salt gunner was, was up cross, with us. It was us. a crossfire. It's fine, it doesn't matter. It was probably crossfire on the other squad, then. Doesn't matter. The casualty is over. Just chill out. Because we are already finna get... Big yeah. negative over here. Yeah. I don't think anyone's acting yeah. stupid. Alright, it's fine. Just don't even worry about it. When when uh, Charlie is ready. Once you're off, they're ready, buddy. Um, let's uh, Boyle pretty much go whenever. Boyle, can we go. can we start back at the building so we have to do this set all over again? Oh. No, yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna start from here. We're doing the exact same thing. Okay. Alright, Jackson, watch your office set. So move whenever you're ready. Alright, moving. And boiled the Alright, keep going guys, guys. Alright. Stay there. Him across. One one Charlie's moving across the gun and fire hold. Hold stand up. Down the side, hover the wall, hover the wall. Controlled fire, controlled fire. Oh, cheese fire. Move your shit back here, let's go. Swap cheese fire, we're gonna regroup. Jesus Christ, down there? I don't know. Jackson. Yes. 15 and get behind the rock. You're going to be suppressing. Suave. Show 1 1 Charlie how you're supposed to deep rock. I got it. Oh, I was trying to do my best, uh, this is a really kind of retard. Ah, yeah. We're gonna keep this, no live fire, no firing, we're gonna fucking run through this, no firing. Alright, well, whatever. So, we're gonna run through this, no firing, so, we can get your shot, probably. Alright, go ahead. One, two, up, it's set. Pew, 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 pew. Alright, chill out, guys, come on, let's do it. Jackson, you ready? One, one, two, Alpha, Charlie's ready. Alright, one, two, Alpha, move it. Move along this wall until you get to the end. Once we get to the corner, Schmuckatelli, take that, that, that corner and cover it. Alright, Schmuck, uh, no, no, don't fire. One two off the set. One more Charlie set. Alright, one more Charlie moving across, moving to the building in front of the third. Rest for us, we'll just go. Yeah. I'll be soon. I wasn't really sure what he was doing, there. he kind of just went rogue on me. <coughs> Jackson, move up to that building in front of us, we got you coming here on this right side. Alright. I'm gonna try to move it. Now for this, Jack, Jack, if you want, you can move around in the back of the building until you get to that warehouse, and we can move to that building. How about fire moving? Alright, we're moving to the back of the warehouse to set up. <laughs> Who's 
user in your channel timed out. Stand up, okay. One more Charlie set. Watch out. When you guys can come and lay down. Alpha set and holding. Oh, I meant to say uh, Charlie. Fuck. Oh, Charlie, you can move up down that alleyway. We got you covered, Mac. All right, break. We're taking point. Move down the alleyway. Okay. One more Charlie moving. Come on, come on. One one Charlie set. Miss oh, Patrick, get down that wall right there. There's any nail you're more exposed. You guys can look over us too if y'all wanna look out. First guys will be crouched. Just stand up. There you go. Set at the edge of this building. One more and try the moving. One more and try the set. Charlie moving up. Let's go, guys. Thought I did. Hey, there you are. You didn't get the first one. Charlie set. Somebody rushed across. I watched this way. Over me. Now watch across, I got this. Alright. Like over my head towards the other building. Yeah, I got you. One, two, one, two. I'm not in the Set. One, one, is gonna hold you guys move across. Roger, one, two, alpha, move it past you guys so that wouldn't be I got that. We're gonna move. We're gonna move. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna call it. LT. Jackson, go ahead, go ahead and bring you guys over here. Yeah. Hey, uh, okay. LT, um, I'd like to inform you that Eric 1 on Alpha is uh, not at the staging area. Um, they're currently running laps. Yeah, good. I don't know why, but good. Alright, my team on me. Well, let's right, well, let's get these guys in the front. We're going to talk about, about race happening. Alright, I'm not going to let you talk over here. Well, What's yeah, that? Basically, the parent will have to call for Shelly's fire team. Um, they're all being fucking started. Um, they told them to stop. They didn't stop. They was like, fuck it. We're hitting the tarmac, and they're running up and on the tarmac now. So. Kind of funny, because Shelly's the one who fucks it. Exactly. So what do we need right. to do? Guys, I'm going to stretch a bit. Hold on. Yeah, so right. You're good. They're good by me, you guys. Prayers are fine right Copy. there. I mean, we're going to talk about this. Um, so, they're first two times, they were running laps. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, the first two times, can anybody tell me why that was incorrect and what the fuck went wrong there? I moved up yes. when I wasn't told to. Okay, Not well, that. P PTS, who has an answer for me? PTS, actually. PTS, man, though. Or Preacher. Preacher? Go ahead. Uh, one one Charlie did not advise one two Alpha that they were moving uh, whenever they were set. I just checked the last of us we had a radio call. So. Bingo. And they didn't stop anywhere. PTS they Jackson. Around. They ran all the way the fuck right here. Yes. And they didn't stop. And then they went the way back. We can I Alpha. interrupt? Go ahead. Go ahead. We didn't really know what the hell we was kind of doing. You guys didn't explain it that well that we was doing leapfrogging. Jackson, how many units have you been in? 
happy with me and Royal. Doesn't matter. Team. That's why we put you in a team leader position because we know that you have gone on this before and that you know how to do it. So yeah. I can understand that we might not have fucking gone step by step with you what needs to happen, but we expect more out of you because we've taught you this multiple times before. And I did Go say ahead. I would have did. And then I asked, does anybody have any questions? And nobody said anything. So, when I say okay. part of team bounding, and then I said, does anybody have any questions? I know what that is. And everyone's like, nope, we're good. Okay. I'm sorry, Stan, sorry. I thought that was something covered in boot camp. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't cover in our boot. Not solid cover. Alright, Burn Shot, what's up? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, right. Fitzpatrick says, so if I can say something to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, we had a couple errors, but it's friendly fire. Sorry about that, Jackson. Um, and I think there's another friendly fire case. I think we have to be a little more cautious of our friendlies, uh, where they are, where they're moving. Uh, make sure you identify friendlies. Oh, that's why it's good to communicate within the team and between the teams. All right. So we're gonna go back, um, everybody else, and we're going to. This is the end of training. We're gonna go take care of some more shit, um, but and we're gonna revisit this at a later date because it's getting late. But prior to bounding, as where one team supports and covers one team as they move to a, a location, which is not all the way down that way. If you move down that way, this it's the next location, the closest one that has cover. You move there, they get set. They're gonna cover the team that was just covering them as they move up. All right. And so as both teams are moving up slowly to towards an objective covering each other because what happens is if you don't do it that way and you're both teams moving at the same time or something like that when we get engaged you guys are going to get fucked up because you don't have anybody covering your ass alright so this is important in any combat situation whether it's in an urban environment or in an open field you need to have somebody covering your ass we didn't get into the other portion of bounding which was two man bounding which is basically where you split your team up to bound but that we don't even need to go there because we couldn't even get the fire team thing down, so we're going to get to it later. Will you have anything? Nope, I'm good, sir. Alright, well, so everybody, uh, team leaders, get your Humvees. We're going to go back to the three grounds, and then let's uh, get into the formation. Alright, then. Wolf went follow order, so I had to discipline. User entered your channel. Oh, you said no weapons? Just try right, uh, Guys, put, put your weapons in your backpack. Fitzpatrick, you stand behind me, man. Stand behind me, Just get in yeah. one line side by side. Yeah, Fitzpatrick, line up behind Shelly so that Shelly can move closer. Just get in one line. And then Shelly, then those guys can then shift over here so that we can have a chance. And nobody listens. There you go. Get in one line. Yeah, good shit. Just one line. It doesn't need to be Why that many. What did Command say? They would stop moving so we don't like get all fucking dropped. about it. Michael Jackson, look at this. Smoker, tell me you think we should put it on? Looks like the only time. That Michael Jackson comment. He's know. not white yet, boys. Not on my cap on me. He's on my screen. Do you, you guys ever learn not to fuck around too much? Shut the fuck up. Jesus. Sorry, preacher. My bad. You guys see this line that's right here? Where, where we're standing at right here? Let's make sure that we don't go past that line so it looks really straight. So okay. just, uh, team, just back up just like one step. You guys think line up? Everything is not going to be perfect. Go for that. Go for that. Everything. You know this is 1-7. This is 1-1 alpha. Uh, break. Stand by. Crutch, this is 1-1 uh, alpha. What's your ETA? It's Patrick. It's Patrick back up a little bit. Patrick back up a bit. Thank you. 
Uh, Staff Sergeant, it's gonna be four mics. Do you want me to go pick them up? Well, fuck, I'd like him to be here. I'll bring him out here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just, te just teleport him. Fuck this. Operation, <laughs> really teleport him. Alright, there he is, right here. They're all the, uh, yeah, team in the back. Who's the fuck I'm Contact, uh. man! Where the officers stand. Look, man, I'm just trying to Don't worry, Wolf, we'll, you'll get more. We'll get plenty more of this after if we're done. That was fun stuff. Well. Alright, John. So, we're gonna do a quick AAR. I like to do ARs, then we'll go into the other shit real quick. So, BTS in effect, um, what was supposed to happen today? Or, well, not BTS in effect, just go ahead and fuck say it. Training. Uh, training, baby. Training, but specifically, uh, that's a lot. Alright. What, uh, what did we all accomplish today? School of infantry. Okay. Alright. So. percent, I'd say. <laughs> basic, basic uh, radio training, basic medic training. Basic core usage. Advanced Don't weapons, usage. fire team tactics. Okay. So, um, the last thing that we did need to cover, what we're not going to cover, we're going to just cut it short for right now, um, was going to be more of like multiple squad kind of trainings. Alright. So, we're going to basically split two fire teams. We're going to make like half a squad anyway. And kind of do tactics in that sense, but we're gonna cut it short. Uh, just because of time's sake, we don't fucking wanna be here all night, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, as mentioned, we did advanced weapons training. So you guys learned how to properly use the M249 in a combat scenario. You learned how to properly fire the AT4. We went over radio SLP, radio etiquette, and shit like that. So now everybody knows how to, you know. Talk over the radio and not sound like a fucking dumbass. Went over basic med shit and your role as an infantryman and what you're supposed to do if somebody gets wounded. And we went over fire team bonding. Alright, there are some hiccups here and there, but I think for everybody, uh, for the most part, everybody got the gist of it, which is good. Okay. So now we're going to go into the sustains, which are sustained guys, if you don't know what that word means, it's basically. What did we do well that we can continue doing well from what we kind of saw here in the training? PTS in effect here. Wonderful. I'm glad we didn't do shit well. PTS. Go ahead. Downing was pretty well done. Which team are you in, correct? Uh, Bravo, I believe. He was in the... He was in the, he was in the first group, sir. Okay. You didn't see the second group. Alright. So, so yeah, they're bounding, I guess, for the most part. You know, there there were actually a lot of hiccups there, but for the most part, I think everybody got the gist of it. I think we really got communication going. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Did you have Go ahead. I think, uh, worked like the, uh, you know, actually just with every station, I, I think that everyone was cooperating. They were susceptible to the training willing to like with the guys. Um, and, you know, everyone, even though they, some, some people might know this or, you know, that they, uh, they've gone through like many units and this and that, and, you know, nobody was being like a snob or like a fuckface about like, oh, I already know this information. I don't need to go through it again. I think everyone was, you know, pretty... Like just just playing a part of the team, you know, and just, you know, just generally being a just team player. being a fucking team player. Yeah. yeah, I did notice that nobody was like, oh, I already know this shit, I'm not gonna do it. Everybody was very involved. And even if they did already know it, they still went through it anyway, and so that's good. Anything else? In sustains? Alright. Oh, oh go yeah, ahead. Well, yeah, sure. go ahead. I just think some of the dick baggery during your formal trainings needs to kind of stop. Um, I know that there's times for fun and stuff, and I know, like, these trainings can be kind of lengthy, but, like, you know, there are some things that, like, if you have to be told, like, a thousand times to stop, you know, then you kind of already know that you're one of those people that I'm referring to. But uh, I know that, like, I can, you know, I can be an idiot too sometimes. I know we all can be idiots. But, like, when it comes to, like, formal trainings and stuff, it's, it's kind of like that time where you get it, you know, it's for sitting down where... You know, we're doing tedious shit, you're learning something, you know, you get not a lot of us want to do that when they're online, but, you know, that's why you join the Milson unit, so it's 
try and keep the dick baggery to a minimum, you know, because it kind of breaks the immersion for some people who like to take this stuff very seriously and um, who like to take the unit very seriously. So, I mean, at least do us that favor. And, you know, yeah. just work. Yeah, we're all, we're all cool peeps. PTS Jackson, to add on to that. Go ahead. Guys, re you train how you're going to play. So if we train sloppy, laughing, fucking around, how is it going to come to the point when we get killed, blown up, yelled at? So we train how we play, do the right thing where you're not being watched. So say like when we went in there, understand that we had some hiccups inside of the uh, CQC, but it looked like it was hell, hell going on outside with uh, Bravo and them because Shelly was, well, I guess I'm not going to point anybody out, but there's problems with some of the teams. Do the right thing when you're not being watched. Take this serious, guys. Please and thank you. Yeah, you know, he's right. And I think most people that can actually were here like two, three ops ago, they can attest to it. You know, there, there was one op where it was very serious. Everybody knew their shit. And we had a good group of guys that ran at that op. And it was it was a lot of fun. Um, that was our second to last op. For those of you that like are trying to think back to which one it was, you know, everything went smooth. And everything went well because everybody knew their shit. And everybody knew what they were doing. So, you know, kind of touching off on like what Lance Carpenter Jackson said, if people know their shit, things are run a lot smoother in game, and it'll be a lot more fun, it'll be a lot more immersive, and everything will look, it'll, be, it'll just be a lot of fun, guys, for those of you that haven't been to like one of our ops. Yes. Go ahead, Smoke. Oh, uh, well, nothing to add on to that. Um, if you guys know what's going on in one of your teams, don't know, don't be a snob and expect them to learn. Um, if they may, if it's something individual, that's one thing, but the guy just straight up doesn't know what to do, he's lost, make sure that he's unlost, he's, your, your teammates with like, your fire team, fire team reflection, the team, oh, the the command, so don't make each other look like shit, one guy fucked up, we all fucked up, at least that's what my understanding is, and then oh, if we look fucked up, if one person is fucked up and looking wrong, the rest of us is looking wrong, and we're not working right. Word. Same guy, shooting maybe. We're family, help each other out. Yeah, Keep your team up. Go ahead, Wolf. If you guys aren't on deck, we need to be running and training ourselves, so if we're not on the teams doing uh, bounding, then the two teams outside the wall can practice it down the runway. Bitch. Keep yourself busy so you don't get in trouble. That's a good way of looking at it. We're always training. <laughs> Does anybody uh, have any more improves? Alrighty, that concludes that. Uh, the LT, do you have anything as far as our training was concerned? Uh, yeah. Alright guys, um, so everything that we talked about when it comes to improvements and sustains, and that was correct. Um, so. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I really want to say here. I want to use the correct words. I mean, obviously, we don't want any of the fuck around. I've already said that to multiple people. Um, we know when we're here on the training map, we are here to train, and so that we can get better at things, so that we can become, you know, badass fucking emarines, and, you know, be effective. And I'm, you know, I say that kind of, you know, joking to his armor, right? But we all want to be good at it at this game and be, you know, be a good missile unit because, you know, that's why we all came here, right? So, it's up to every single one of you to make sure that happens. It's not just my responsibility, your boiler's responsibility. Um, you know, you guys need to hold each other accountable for your ship, or for ship. Um, when it comes to the fire team bounty and stuff like that, um, I, I may have overestimated the capabilities of our team leaders, so that's my fault. Um, we will be going over our team tactics, explaining tactics in the second training, because we're in a time tonight, um, and we'll try to get a little bit more in-depth with it, and try to make sure everybody knows exactly what we expect of them, um, and then we will hopefully do um, some field training exercises to back to what we So. I'll use that side. Oh fuck. 
Yeah, we don't have any questions over uh, training or anything like that. Wolf, you good over there? Private, Private Wolf, you good? He got a phone call. Yeah, oh, just okay. bleeding a little bit. We'll be fine, it's just a scratch. Flesh wood. Alright. Hey, LT, uh, can you kick me real quick? You guys just, uh, you guys just hold fast mm -hmm. here. One sec. You, get, you guys can relax right now, just fucking relax. Ned, don't don't move from the formation. You can swivel. Don't you fucking move! You don't move. Hey, Lance Corporal Jackson. What? Oh my God! You guys just dropped these fucking recording. Holy shit! Jackson, man. Look at the drama queen. Just drop it. Like drama queen. Are you well bringing said. that shit up? Just, yeah, just, just Blaze, I'm already here. running. It doesn't matter. Face the sake. I'm just saying, I don't know why you change yourself from black to white. It's fucked up, man. For real, man. Don't be fucked up. Why would you do that shit on us, you know? Look at me. I'm not white. I'm Asian, baby. I'm all the white. I'm not You haven't got the shit on the head yet, so I mean. I'm you, want the you, you want the what? You want the what? Is what the? Over here fucking <laughs> serving up this bitch of soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> because my soy be, sauce is he for you. He be you dishing out some fucking you. spicy tuna rolls. <laughs> so you all know about my little egg roll, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little one inch wonder. For sure, man. It's actually two inches, guys. Give him some credit. You know, screw this. I'm putting on my hat. Screw this helmet. I'm about space, man. I don't carry a bunch of shit. Otherwise, you guys should be carrying a training. I only have a training oh, well, yeah. for this year. I carry this hat with me on my normal gear when we're out doing shit. <laughs> it's not yeah, a hat, it's a cover. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, I'm gonna right. wear mine then, yeah. What no, 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 it's a cover, it's not a hat. Oh, Alright, we don't need some fucking military stuff. It's just lights, it's just yeah, lights. Can't line up, I'll line up lights. Oh! I it, it's a cover, but not everyone else knows that. <laughs> Wait, hey guys, don't throw anything. Don't mess with the gear. Just talk to each other. Why is oh, 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 they're looking. They're looking, don't be throwing uh, shit. Question, why is there an AP4 rocket in between our legs? Why? Uh, whoa, well. Um, right, <laughs> you compensating for something, mate? <laughs> everyone, do, everyone do a half right face, and then everyone press E. Press oh, no, E? We don't have fucker. We don't have our guns out, so we just can't. Yeah. Why would we do that anyway? So that we can just peer and look at them. <laughs> and that'd be left, not right. I know. I was oh, seeing how many no people were actually going to I'm bored. I'm going to run some laps. I'm bored. I'm running some laps. You know what I'm going to join? No. Be still. Hey, you can join me after this, Kowalski. Yeah, no. Uh, well, there goes Kozlowski and yeah. fucking breaking formations. You know, I don't give a fuck, guys. Hey, he said, hold on. <laughs> you haven't got a beast. Jeez. <laughs> Apple. Alright, well, I'm gonna stay in this box. You can stay over there and we go. Aw, make me all lonely in your shit. It's not right. It's not right. Come stand by me, Kowalski. You gotta be a goddamn individual. Just can't be. Oh! Jesus. There's always house. an individual in the unit. Asshole. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm, I like my spot. No, I'm gonna be different. I need ammo! There's always that one critic that always starts going in the air. I know how you feel, Burnshaw. Stop being stereotypical. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Why are you getting undressed in the middle of the goddamn airfield? It's a no he wants to show fan. off, God. It's hot. Nope. It's a no pants fan. Let's go for the next and go ahead and fall into formation. Johnson, your, your, your voice. And swap. And swap. And swap. Alright. Purpose class. Blaze and Purpose class. Swap. Step forward.
Pride First Class Blaze and Pride First Class Suave have both showed initiative in 31st MEU and have both been promoted to the rank of Lance Corporal with a data rank of 29 November 2014. Both Private Suave and Private First Class Blaze will both remain in their fire team lead positions. They're not being moved. Oh, rah! So, good shit, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Alright, guys, we're going Thank you, sir. Student at Waviator T Wolf, front center. Click the button above your enter. <clears throat> Make it whisper. Oh. Student Aviator Wolf has shown trust and fidelity in the 31st MEU and is hereby on the data rank of 29 November 2014 is being commissioned to the rank of second lieutenant and charge of the aviation combat element within the 31st MEU. Good job, Wolf. Yeah. Thank you. Shut up. Congratulations. Nice job, buddy. Big hop. Cool. You just need some pilots now. I'm working on it, buddy. Where is it? Click the button above your head, dude. Damn it. Thank you very much. Shit. <laughs> uh oh. Nice job, sir. Thank you. Hey, hold on one sec, I'll see you. Yep, yep. Prior first class, Burton Shaw, front center. I'm bleeding again, are you kidding me? Just hold it in. I can't. Pride First Class yeah. Burton Shaw has shown trust and fidelity in the 31st MEU, 1st Platoon, and is hereby being promoted to the rank of Lance Corporal with the data rank of 29 November 2014, and is serving as S6 Department Head. So, congratulations on that. Good work, man. Hey, George. Good shit. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll take it from here, old Pete. All right, gentlemen. So we're also discussing next week. We are going into our next campaign. It's gonna be Operation. Jesus Christ, can't even fucking speak. <laughs> Opera <laughs> Operation Jungle Fury. Alright. Mm -hmm. We are deploying. Uh, the map is Niswasogo, the jungle map. Mm. Alright. Charlie in the tree. There's been some really big shit going on over there, and they're just sending us over there. Uh, we don't have all the information yet, so. Know your shit by next week. Alright. Roger. When next week, sorry? Next Saturday will be our first operation in this country. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions about that? Who's gonna, what kind of people are we running into over there? Asians. It's gonna be a conventional <laughs> force. That's all we know. A uniform force, for sure? Yes, for sure. Okay. There'll be an off order. Um, and some information on the website later this week or next week. I can check in. <laughs> Any more questions about that? Alright, mm -hmm. so for those of you recruits that just went through boot today, on Team Speak, you'll see a new tag that'll be a colored box with a number in it. 
That colored box designates the squad you're in. If it's a one, you're in first squad. If it's a two, you're in second I squad. Need ammo. You'll have to check the battle roster to see exactly what fire team you're placed in. Be sure to get with your fire team leader and let him know that he is now your fire team leader, so he knows that you're under him. Oh yeah, nice staff sergeant. Ready. Does anybody have anything else? Any questions, comments, concerns? No staff said. Alright guys. Right no. to us. Right after this, we are going to be having a leadership meeting. So all team leaders and squad leaders, we're going to need you in the conference room. Everybody else, you're free to go. Uh, second lieutenant. <laughs>